Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to How to Build a Realistic Minecraft City, Episode 1, Season 3 of the channel. That's crazy, we've already done two seasons like this before, and we're already on Season 3. Uh, I feel like each season my building gets better, and I can just show you guys how to build an even cooler city each time. So this is Episode 1, and today we're going to be building the roads and doing some streetlights and all that cool extra details. Next episode i got a big surprise for you guys, something we have never done before. And uh, yeah, guys, if you're excited for the series, if you'd like to see it continue, please make sure you subscribe with notifications on. Leave a comment down below and like because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, pretty much, let's just get right into this video. Pretty much, uh, the blocks you're going to need today is just stone bricks, stone, white concrete, anvils. Ooh, why is he using those? Kind of crazy, right? We're changing up the design. You're going to need yellow concrete, grass blocks, flowered azalea leaves, and andesite walls. So the next thing you're going to want to do is now take your stone bricks. That's going to be the first block. And these are going to be the sidewalks. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go out by four. So one, two, three, four. You're going to want to take one piece of stone, place it like that. You're going to want to take one piece of white concrete, place it like that. Then you want to go one, two, three with your stone. Then yes, you may want to turn down your volume when we're dealing with anvils, but place your anvil and place your stone. Anvil. One, two, three again. So make sure you leave a space in between. And then right in the middle here, place a yellow concrete. Don't worry about the, uh, don't worry about the, uh, what's it even called? Is it andesite wall? Uh, but anyways, keep going. Stone, one, two, three. Anvil, stone, anvil, one, two, three. Uh, and I did mess up right here. So it's just white concrete. So it's three, white concrete, stone, one, two, three, four. There we go. So now that you've gotten that done, uh, just go ahead and add an extra layer like I did here just so we have two. You don't even have to do that, I'm just doing that for the tutorial since I had my base layer down. But what you're going to do is now you're going to want to take your stone bricks. And this does not require a measurement. Everybody always asks me, like, how long is your road? This will not require a measurement. You make your road as long as you want it to be. So I'm just going to take my road and I'm just going to say, I'm just going to keep going. And this is probably going to be about 100 blocks long. It doesn't have to be 100 blocks, but uh, it's usually a pretty good base. You know what? Let's just do... That's 80 right there. And this is 13. So that's about 70... 70, 70, 70 something. 70 something blocks. So yeah. So go ahead, make it about... I would just say bring it out by... Yeah, you know what? 70 blocks. You can do your road as. And pretty much... You know the drill, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go ahead and take all of our stone and bring it, because, you know, we're using different blocks. We're not using, like, normal concrete like we usually usually do for these roads. So what you want to do is you want to take your stone and just get this whole, get your sidewalks outlined like that. Uh, you can just take your white concrete and go ahead and bring them out like this, because these will be the side lines, which is really nice. And then th those can be, like, little bike lines at the side. But it's really nice because, yes, we're using anvils now, but we don't need to go through the hassle of doing any lines. Now, I might as well take this moment to explain to you guys why are we using anvils? Like, NDV, what the heck? Why? So, what we're going to be doing is we're actually, instead of doing more modern roads, like highways and stuff, in the main city, we're going to go ahead and build uh, more classic 1950 streetcar roads like if you go into like big cities like Toronto or I'm pretty sure San Francisco has them they have streetcars and pretty much these streetcars run on anvils and what we're going to be doing in episode two is we're actually going to be building streetcars and I'll show you guys how to do it and they'll just look absolutely amazing and I'll be showing you guys a bunch of other details you can do with them as well so pretty much what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to show you guys I'll do this part on time lapse and I'll do that side of the road Time lapse, so we don't have to go through the process of watching me do this whole thing. So now what we're going to, want to do is literally for the anvils, it's a bit tricky placing them, but just take your time, and it's really hard to mess up on doing it. And you just want to bring your anvils right down like every other block. And now this may be a little bit of a pain, so I either recommend muting your volume, or if you can't mute your volume, I would recommend you go ahead and just turn down your Minecraft sounds. Yes, I know it's like, oh my gosh, why would you choose anvils? Trust me, it's going to look stunning at the end of this. I already have like all the base designs done, and they just look absolutely amazing. But pretty much, 
I would say the anvils are the trickiest part and I'll show you guys actually how to use the structure block and copy and paste to make these roads so much easier to place so you don't have to go through this painful process every single time. And if you can't figure out the structure blocks, all good. Because one of the most important parts when you're building a Minecraft city, especially if you're doing it by yourself, there's a lot of people who are like to me, well, I'm losing motivation. Ah, man, I just don't want to do this by myself. It's okay. Just do small areas at a time. And I find that's honestly the best way to build these things. Especially if we're doing this series, like I'm not going to be trying to use lots of command blocks or anything like that. I'll show you guys how to use them, but we're pretty much just going to be going and I'll be showing you guys how to build a city in a 10 episode part series. Now, if you guys want this to be more than 10 episodes long, let me know. And just do that by liking this video, subscribing and telling me you want to see more. You want to see me building more and showing you guys more tutorials. Because honestly, I love making these videos and the more support we get on these, the better. So pretty much you can just see me here. I'm just filling it all in, you know, we're just filling it in. Um, and maybe we'll even do the streetcar this episode. Ooh, or maybe not. Maybe we'll make you guys wait for season two. It depends how long my recording is when we get to the end of this. We should have enough time. Possibly. Hopefully. Because the streetcar de design is absolutely amazing. Um, okay, now that you've gotten like the base part of the road done, pretty much for the sidewalk, you can... So, what I recommend for the sidewalks is in your decorative stone, you get cracked stone bricks as well. And you grab yourself some stone brick stairs. And you grab yourself... Where do we find the buttons? Anybody know where we find buttons? Uh, this is like me every story, yes. And you grab yourself some stone buttons. And make sure you have grass and... It could either be flowering azalea leaves or just normal azalea leaves. But pretty much with the grass, what you're going to do is... You want to go to the start of your road, right? And you just want to go leave two spaces and go one, two, three, four, five. Stone, stone. One, two, three, four, five. So two stones. Then we'll just keep doing this. One, two, three, four, five. Stone, stone. One, two, three, four, five. Oop, that's six. Stone, stone. And this is pretty much the design we're gonna be using uh, for this to the on our roads and our sidewalks. And it looks absolutely stunning at the end of it. Um, by the way, these are original designs by me. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys like them. I've been, I've been fiddling around lots with Minecraft lately and just like, what can I do to spruce up my builds? Okay, and then you just want to do one of those, and then the rest can just be all stone like this. And then pretty much on those grass blocks, you can probably tell where this is going, right? We're going to take our flowering azalea leaves and just go ahead and put them right on here. And look at how stunning those look. Because you, know you, know you know what my saying is? You got to have a lot of greenery in your city. If you don't got greenery in your city, then what's the point of having a city if you're just going to tear all the greenery down? And plus, we just have this vast open desert of green. So you know what? We need some like textury green stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, no, seriously, and all seriously though, the leaves and everything just look great. Okay, now what you want to do is just go ahead, randomly place crack stone anywhere you want. Like, it doesn't matter. Just take a crack stone, just go around placing it wherever you want. Just to give these sidewalks a little, you know, just a little bit of detail. Because at the end of the day, whenever you have your friends I don't have any friends, just kidding. <laughs> no, but if you have any friends um, on here, uh, they'll, just, they'll notice small details like this and it just looks amazing. Now what you wanna do is you wanna take your stone, stairs, and you need, yeah, you wanna place them just like this. Just like this, see what I mean? And it just adds so much detail. You can place them any direction you want. Even like that, right on the corners. And pretty much you can just add, it adds, a detail, more detail, and it's just like, it's crazy. It's crazy how such a little thing can serve as so much detail and it just looks absolutely amazing, right? See what I mean though? Because it really, I'm really showing you guys in this tutorial series on how to really detail your city and how to spruce it up. So there we go. And now what you want to do is take your stone buttons. Don't, don't overkill it. Trust me, don't overkill the stone buttons. Just want a few. Just go ahead and go over your sidewalks and place your stone buttons around like this. Okay, cool. Now, for the next part of the road, I'm gonna do this part in time-lapse. So I'll get back to you guys on this. So I'm gonna do this part in time-lapse. What I'm doing, I'm not doing anything different. I'm doing the exact same thing we did here. So just keep the video going. If you need to pause, you need to pause. It's all good. I'm gonna do this part in time-lapse and I'll get back to you.
Okie dokie, beautiful. That's the, let's start doing the street lights now. Awesome, right? It looks a bit plain, don't worry, we'll fix that. Okay, I know what you're thinking, but okay. Good job, we made it to here. So now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna do street lights. What we're gonna need is the Annabelle back. Oh no, the Annabelle. So what you wanna do is, wherever you started, just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about ten, it doesn't even matter, just go about ten blocks in. You wanna place an Annabelle down just like that. You wanna crouch and place a andesite wall over top. So we're gonna go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, 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 nine blocks of the and andesite. Uh, 10 counting the anvil, but just nine andesite walls going up plus the anvil. Now what you want to do on the top is you want to go ahead and grow into your building block. What you want to do is you want to grab your smooth stone slabs and some sea lanterns. Ooh, sea lanterns. All right, now what we want to do is place two smooth stones like that, one out from each side, break this one, place one like this. Now we're going to want to take our sea lanterns and go one, two, three, out this way. We want to go smooth stone, out by one, so two right there and one right here, and three over top. I'm gonna go one, two, three. I'm gonna go two smooth stone, just like this, and one out, and three over the top. There we go. Now to spruce this up even more, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab some concrete. Blue and yellow concrete to support the Ukrainian flag. Um, you can do any colors you want. I'm just doing uh, blue and yellow. And what you wanna do is uh, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks up, you're gonna wanna place uh, two blue or whatever uh, concrete you're using, just like that on each side, iron trap door on the top, iron trap door on the bottom, and there you have it. A modern street light. It looks really good. Now these aren't, you know, you don't need to put the flags or these uh, little posters. If you want, you can even do like little uh, gra like uh, leaves right there to like do some of the greenery in the middle. But that, again, is just for extra detail. If you like it, you can keep it. If you don't like it, you don't have to keep it. But uh, yeah, that's what... So what we're going to do now is we're going to make another one of these. And I have like a rule, right? You cannot put streetlights too close to each other. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to have one right there. And we probably are going to have our next one back by like 20 blocks. So we want to leave like a 30 to 40 block space in between the two streetlights. Like, always keep a 30 to 40 block space. You never want to have them too crowded. So now with our next street light, let's go ahead and do the exact same thing. Uh, let me just go ahead and grab my, whatchamacallit, the andesite walls and the slabs. So again, one anvil down. And if you're wondering how I'm doing that, I just use pick block. You can do it in your uh, controls. Uh, so if you just go settings, whatever you're playing on, uh, and then just go scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Pick block should be at the very bottom and just set your control there. Uh, I just use the bottom uh, trigger. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, out by one on each side, break the middle, take your sea lanterns, one, two, three, Ooh. one, two, three on the side, boom, boom, boom. Pretty simple. And look how easy, look how nice these look and look how easy they are to make. It's awesome. Just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and about the seventh block, do our, you don't have to do this for everyone, by the way, you can just do this if you choose to. We're just gonna go iron, 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 iron. Awesome, that looks so good, I love it. It looks really good. So, I am going to wait to the streetcars until next episode, because I already know it's gonna take, it's gonna be like at least, <coughs> um, sorry, at least 10 minutes to do, and I don't wanna extend this episode over 20 minutes. Um, but pretty much this episode just shows you guys how we're going to start building the city, what design we're going to do. We're going to do one streetcar right here and another right there. Um, next episode, I'm going to do the streetcars. I'll get into command blocks in episode, ep next episode. And then on episode three, we will build our very first house. Um, if you do want to mark where we're going to build the house, from where we started, you're going to want to go one, two, three, four, five. And on the fifth block, you just want to go back. You just take, just take a good mark back. Um, and we did 60 here. Oh, never mind. I did that measurement wrong. This is, uh, 35 here. And this is 60 right here. So 15, so 5. You want to do 25 blocks out. So do go in by 5 and then 25 blocks out. And you want to do the exact same thing on this side. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
So one, two, three, four, five. I don't know, it's the, on the six, sorry. So when I have a five space on the six block, and we're gonna go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 blocks, perfect. So that's what we're gonna do on each side, just like that. And to spruce this up a little bit, where, I'll, I guess I'll, I won't end the tutorial yet, I'm gonna show you guys how to do something. Uh, right here in this little slot, that's why I told you guys to go out by, in by five, because right here, we're gonna fill this in with grass, so two, three, four, five. So we're gonna have five by five grass thing right here. Just like this, so five by five. And just take your stone and go right around it. Just like that. And now we're gonna do a custom tree. Uh, and if you want, do the exact same thing on the side, by the way. And again, I'll show you guys how to duplicate it next episode when we get into structured blocks. So just do five by five. That's four. This is five. Amazing. There we go. And which side will we do the custom tree on? Let's do it on this side first. That looks so good, by the way. That really does look good. Okay. Uh, so now what you want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and get a spruce fence. No, you know what? Get a dark oak fence. Go to your leaves and get some azalea leaves. Flowering azalea leaves. Boom, that's all you need. And I'm just going to go ahead and make this a little bit more or organized. Come on. Help me out, game. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to do two dark oak fences, right? Take your azalea leaves. Go up. Probably doesn't matter how high you go up. Go up as high as you want. I feel like I did this a little bit too high. You're probably going to go 20 block, 10, 10, 15 blocks above your street light. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go on each side. So on the first side, we're going to go up by one. Second side, you're going to go up by two. Third side, you're going to go up by three. You're going to go up by two on the back side. So now where you're going to take those and go straight up. And you want to leave about a five, about a three, four block space for the first one. For the second one, you're going to go up. You're going to go one up higher than this. On the back one, you're going to go up. And you're actually going to go two below this one. And on the this side right here, you're going to go up. And go up two on the side as well. Actually, you're going to go up with three on the side, leaving two spot. And then uh, bring this up by one more. So on the very top, you want to do one two dark oak fences and do one dark oak fence there and one right there now on the sides what you're going to do is you want to take some azalea leaves start from leave one uh, gap space right there and go up just like that uh you want to leave a couple of spaces right here on this side you, wanna, you always want to try to mis mismatch it and make it a little bit wonky leave a little space right there and in the middle get and go back up like this leave a space you just want to keep layering it right so it's just kind of random, but you just keep leaving spaces until you get that nice layer, right? So look how good that looks. Now we're going to want to do the exact same thing on this side. So pretty much each layer, you just go ahead and go leave a little space like right there, bring it up and wherever it stems down to, you want to leave a couple blocks like this in the middle, just go start maybe two above right there, whatever looks natural, you know, and you get two right there, two right there. Just like that and then on this side we can do the exact same thing so where this block is we're just going to take up by one go up you're going to so since this ends right here you don't want to probably go down by two uh you want to go up by two right here and that looks good and then on the sides again make it random making it random is always good it's just like that then on this side what we're going to do is we're actually going to bring this down by one and we're going to have this extend right up to here, just like this. Maybe, since this one will be a little bit of an odd layer, and we'll go up a little bit higher on the side, and again, we'll start a little bit lower on the side. It doesn't have to be as wonky, but it can be more mismatched. And we're gonna go up on this side, just like this. There we go, and then just bring this out by two. There we go, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, if you want to, go ahead and just spruce some flowering azalea leaves in here a little bit randomly. I know it may be a little bit confusing, but again, just if you need to put it in slow motion. Again, it's wonky, wonky, wonkiness. There we go. And now what you want to do is just on a couple of these corners, just put one uh, fence to give it like a, like a stick almost sticking out. It's kind of what the purpose is. But just do it randomly. Don't overkill it. And there we go. 
a custom tree. Perfect, right? And then at the bottom, what I like to do is I just like to add some uh, normal azalea leaves, just to add like some little bushes like that. And I just take some bone mill and we just go around like this. I'm actually gonna be building a train cart. Ooh, very cool. So we're gonna be doing a train cart and I'll show you guys how to do all the wiring mechanisms, blah, blah, blah. It's not actually intent. It's, it's not hard at all. But uh, I'll show you guys how to do all that. And we're gonna lay out this entire street uh, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do a little bit with command blocks. So I'm excited, I hope you're excited. But uh, the first thing we wanna do is, uh, let, let's just clear out our inventory. Okie dokie, so we have our resources and it's a bit of a random selection, but I'll stick into the common theme, orange and gray. All right, so what we need is acacia wood stairs, white stained glass panes, andesite stairs, grindstones, that's a fun one. I've never, I don't really build with grindstones, it's cool. Oak fence gates, Acacia trapdoors, orange terracotta, acacia signs, and a lever, or a lever. I don't know how you say it. Are you a lever or a lever person? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> so, uh, what we're first gonna wanna do is, I would just pick, pick anywhere. I'm gonna go from the first street light, and I'm gonna go like maybe like 10 blocks in. But what you wanna do, okay, so this is a bit, it's a bit tricky here. So you want, what you wanna do is take an orange terracotta and place uh, some andesite stairs going forward like that. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. So it's one, two, three, four, five blocks across, just like that. So pretty much you just have the five across and it should look exactly like that, like no different at all. Okay, so after you've gotten that done, you've gotten your five, what you're gonna wanna do now is go ahead and just bring your andesite one, two, this side, one, two, this side, just like that. All right, now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take your acacia wood stairs, and you know how we did these ones going up like that? We're just gonna go ahead and take these going right around on top, just like this. Boom, there we go, looks pretty cool, right? Awesome. So now you wanna take your white stained glass, and you wanna start from, not the second one back, but this, the, this one right here, and we're gonna just go right around. You wanna go up by two, just like this, creating the front of your train. Now, I built this, uh, my little little model of this in uh, with shaders, so I'm, I really hope it looks good. I'm kind of worried. <laughs> uh, but for right here, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna take, uh, let's, let's see here. You wanna get your, we need acacia wood. So go ahead and substitute anything really in your inventory. I, you know what, substitute the lever for now. Not really important. And we're just gonna go ahead and bring up this side with acacia wood, just like that. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna break this one right here. And on the very bottom, we're gonna wanna make these uh, this acacia wood stairs, just like that. And then on the top, just go ahead and go right around like this with your two. And then right here, we'll just do the exact same thing. There we go. So that should be what the front of our train looks like. Well, soon to be train. Okay, let me make that clear, soon to be train. Okay, so now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go ahead and, I know it's gonna look better, don't worry, I know. It's like, what are you making? It's like, I'm, don't worry, don't worry. Place an acacia stair, or andesite stairs. Uh, oak fence aside, right there. Another acacia wood. Then take your uh, terracotta, and wanna place one right there. So acacia stair, terracotta. Acacia wood, one, two, like that, leaving an open little door space like this, and then going, uh, grabbing your acacia wood stairs, and you're just gonna wanna break this one right here and bring it going right across, just like that. I, I, I didn't mean to place that there, but yeah, just go right across on the top. And now what we're gonna do, the top's gonna look so much better, we have so much de uh, details we're gonna do. Now what you wanna do is take your grindstones and crouch, aim this way and place them this way, uh, then we're gonna just go ahead. Let's just, you can just place a sample block there. There we go. Oh, was that attached to something? What does this need to be attached to? So I'll just place an andesite stair right here. And what you wanna do is just go like this. So you wanna place it, so crouch and place it on that one. So this little uh, thing on the grindstone, the feet of it are facing this way. Oh, does that not work on Bedrock Edition? I don't think it does. Oh, never mind. Well, it's gonna make it so they were attached to each other, but it doesn't look like it works. 
that still works too and it looks cool, so whatever. Damn, that's, that's disappointing. <laughs> okay, it's all good though. Now what we're gonna do is take our terracotta and just go right across, just like that. And then what we're gonna do is just go ahead and take our acacia wood planks and go up like this. Have our stairs come across just like that. And we're gonna place two glass right there. Cool, right? All right. So now what we can do is right under here is place acacia trap doors. Along the top, we're just gonna go now this may be a little bit difficult if you're on Bedrock Edition or if you're on console, but what you're gonna do is just go right around placing signs just like this around the top um, of these stairs, just like that. I'm just gonna do the first half and you wanna do the exact same thing for the bottom, just like this. So going around the bottom, there we go, there we go. All right, so that's how it's pretty much gonna look right there. Um, okay, next thing we want to do is just do the exact same thing. So, boom, and we're going to go ahead and do one crouch this way, one over top here, boom, just like that. We're going to take our orange terracotta, go across, and we're going to do the exact same things with our acacia wood, just like this. We're just going to take this and go right across. There we go. And now this train, how big are we going to make it? We're going to go out and do that one more time. Or maybe two more times, it depends. So we're gonna go one, and we're gonna wanna take our... So make sure, you, if you're placing on an anvil or anything like that, you always gotta make sure you crouch, as well as placing these. Well, I don't think really you have to crouch. Uh, but right under, so you place the trapdoors right underneath the wood beams. So I'm just gonna place one right there. One, two. Boom, boom, boom. And we're, pro we're gonna have to go until we make this even. There we go, and let's hope this is it. Yep, there we go, perfect. So pretty much, we went, we have one, two, three, four, five, six windows, just like that. Going along this side, we have one, two, three, four sets of wheels. Make sure your acacia trap doors are going along the sides, just like that. And then I'm just gonna pause the video here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and place the signs right on the tops of these because I don't think you want to watch me placing signs within the next couple of minutes. Alrighty, so the next part is uh, pretty simple. We're pretty much doing the same thing we did at the front of the train to the bottom of the train because these streetcars are they're pretty similar to the back and front designs. So we're just going to go ahead and take this out right across by five and out by one, just like that. And same thing here. We're going to do, the, we're pretty much just going to follow the exact same design we had over here. So one, Two, or sorry about that. Two, uh, oh, we probably want this here. Let's just go ahead and place our acacia, not acacia, this is terracotta, and just do our all of our andesite stairs real quick. There we go. You can even leave those there if you want to, because in reality, nobody's gonna see them, but it's okay, it's up to you. If you wanna be 100% and be cool, then uh, just follow this tutorial. <laughs> um, but yeah, just go ahead, and we're pretty much just doing the exact same thing on this side. And just bring this over here. One, two, one, two, one, two. See how see, see how fast it goes? Like, I kind of had to be a little bit slow on how I was explaining things at first, but like, it's really easy once you like, get, you know, get the hang of these things. Um, and pretty much just, you can bring this going right across like that. And uh, yeah, it's like, it's like once you get started and like once you like see what you're supposed to do and like you have like the first half of your build done, it always goes by so much quicker. So yeah, just do the trap doors underneath the wood. Not underneath the windows, but underneath the wood. There we go, there we go. And now what you can do is just take your... Uh, oh yeah, so the back of the train. Since, so the front of the train, you can see we did like a little curve right here. For the back of the train, we didn't do that curve. We kind of just went straight across. And for the windows, it's just like one, two, three. Does that work? Did I screw something up? Um... Yes, you could try something like this. Yeah, so, oh, that looks cool. Okay, so <laughs> for the back of the train, instead of, so what you wanna do is just go a stair, terracotta, stair, terracotta, stair. Leave these two spots right here, which is the existing wall. Uh, don't place anything right here, but then place two over the top of the terracotta and just fill it in with the window. Look how cool that looks. That wasn't originally with my design, but I kind of just like, you know, one with it, and I think it looks really cool. 
Um, let's do the inside of the train. So what you want to do is, I would just say, just get oak planks. Oak planks are probably the easiest, and just fill the floor in with those. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna have a beautiful, lovely floor that goes right over top of the road, but it's okay, because we're not gonna look at that road anymore. <laughs> uh, so there we go, now we have that, which looks beautiful. And I guess we can do like a little bit of, you can decorate it if you want to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and take some spruce stairs. And of course, this is gonna be the captain's seat right here. Is that what we call them? It's like, this is the captain's seat. It's like, no, this is just the guy who drives the train. It's like, okay, we can call him the captain though to make him feel cool. Uh, you can just take these acacia trap doors and make like make like a little table right there. Uh, and then just go ahead and just like just like a bus. Just go ahead and add your chairs in. And now that's pretty much what this is. It's it's just a bus pretty much, but it's a streetcar, right? So it's like a city bus, but it's a streetcar. And the streetcars are so cool because instead of always theming modern, like it's always cool to implement those other designs and they just look absolutely amazing at the end of the day. So like, I'm really happy with how this looks. Um, now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna, it's, it's gonna be, we're taking a little bit of terms of the blocks, but we're gonna wanna get deep slate. And pretty much, we're just wanna go ahead and place one deep slate there. Sorry about making you go back in your inventory. I know it's exhausting. I hate this whenever I go into tutorials too. Place a deep slate slab over top of it. Break that deep slate underneath it. And then just go ahead and this roof why can't I do this for some reason? This roof will all be deep slate slabs going across like this. There we go. Sorry about that. I, I know how brutally annoying it is whenever like, you you get all your blocks ready, you have them all ready, and it's just like the creator's like, yeah, go back in your inventory. It's like, oh my gosh, really? Or like when they make a mistake and you're just like, to watch it back. How many times I've done that? <laughs> oh man, it's brutal, I'm so sorry. Uh, but pretty much what you wanna do now is you wanna find the middle of the train, so one, so that's one, two, so that three, so this seems like about the middle. You can just estimate the middle, it doesn't really matter, but it looks like the middle for me. And you wanna go to your tools section and grab yourself a stone cutter. What, a stone cutter, yep. You wanna grab yourself two end rods. Whoa, where's he going with this design? You're gonna wanna go ahead and place the stone cutter like this. You wanna crouch. Yep, we're, we're crouching. We're gonna wanna place an end rod over top of it, right? We're gonna place an end rod over top of this end rod, right? We're gonna wanna place another thingy, another, um, what is this called, stone cutter. And you know why we're using the stone cutters? Because it looks like the wires are running through them, right? It's like an active gear and chain system. It's awesome. Now what you're gonna wanna do is grab some chains. Ooh, where is he going with this? I, honestly, I got a plan, don't worry. And go ahead and grab yourselves, uh, sorry about that, a grindstone as well, and, with this grindstone, what you're gonna do is, let me just double check here, yeah, so, with the grindstone, you wanna just go ahead on the train and crouch, just like this. Crouch, just like this, on each sides, and then, oh, so you're gonna have to crouch again, just to get the chain attached there. That's so annoying about these things, but hey, it looks cool. Crouch, and then, booyah, we're gonna wanna go ahead and bring our chains right across, and pretty much with the street that light design, it's a bit, it's a bit tricky to place chains, but I'm so glad you can uh, make them go like this. We're just gonna go ahead and bring the train, ch trains, trains, chains, they'll rhyme in this episode, right underneath these uh, street lights, and it just pretty much makes it look like, you know, it just makes it look like it, it runs through the system and works. Like, look how cool that looks. Looks awesome. So pretty much, that's a system, and that's how you build a train cart for your city. Now, I wasn't expecting this episode to be this long, but I'm not done yet because I still got some things to show you guys. But uh, yeah, definitely a little bit sorry about the length of this. And we're gonna get, we'll get to all the, we'll get to our first building next episode. But as you can see, um, I'm not slowing down with episodes. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep having a good time with this series. That's why I'm like, guys, if you haven't yet, and you're at this part of the video, while I'm trying to miserably place this chain, please do subscribe and leave a like. I, it really does help out. Uh, but yeah, just continue, bring in your chains, if you can get it, a good rhythm with it, and get a bunch placed at once, do it, but uh, yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit tricky. So there we go. Look at that! We got a train cart! Look how cool that looks! Doesn't that look awesome? It looks really cool, doesn't it? Alrighty, for the next part of the video, this is probably the final part of the video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to use the command block, pretty simple, well, not really simple, you can't mess it up, because command blocks can be so annoying. 
But we're gonna go slash give the at symbol s space structure s. So it's a different on uh, Java edition, but it's pretty similar. Just search up the command on Google. Block. There we go. One. So we need the slash give command yourself, giving it to yourself, what the name of the object is, and the quantity of the object. And boom, we have ourselves a structure block. All right. So now when you place a structure dot block, you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, what is this? What am I supposed to do? Well, you can see where this green line is, right? And that's the box. Pretty much everything inside this box is gonna copy. And we wanna copy this train to make another one, but the train's not inside the box. So in order to get this train inside the box, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and place the command block right behind the train. So pretty much what you wanna do is you wanna take that structure block, place it so the square is like eating the train, right? And you wanna just make sure it's behind here like this so the green line is up and these lines are like facing towards the train. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna name the structure name. We're gonna to wanna to just, just do it simple. Do something simple. I like doing simple stuff, you know? Just do one. The offset, make sure the offset is zero. Very, very important. Don't forget that, offset zero. So we're gonna do the size, the X, Y, and Z. X is gonna be seven. Seven captures the whole side of the train, which is what we need, right? Because it's seven blocks, pretty much. Y is the height, so what we're gonna wanna do is probably just make the height about eight, eight blocks. That seems like about right. Uh, and the Z, this is probably about 25 blocks long. Oh, oh, okay. It's, I thought I got I thought I nailed it. No, so it's about 20 blocks long. We want to try to get these measurements exact. So like this is an exact measurement of the train. We've got seven on the X, Y is eight, Z is 20. Now, don't sweat it. If your measurements are off, if you screw something up, it's okay. Everybody miss, makes mistakes. You don't need to fix it. If, it, if you like got one more cart on the back, it's all good. Just make your measurements a little bit taller or bigger to capture this full train. So now what you're gonna do is just save. Very simple, right? So now it's saved into your structure block. Now what we can do next is we can go ahead, let's just say we place this structure block right here, for example. We have to go load, structure name one. Now if you click load, it's gonna show you, it's gonna show you this, if we load this in right here, it's going to show you what it's about to destroy to load that train in. And we do not want to destroy our road. This is not right. So, let's just go ahead and rotate it. And I don't think we should, I don't think this is, we, we place this here. So what you're going to do is remember how we captured the structure block right here and it's about one, it's on the second block from the anvil. So we're probably mu pretty much just gonna do the exact same thing over here. One, two, on the second block, load, structure name one, again, keep it simple. Now the offset, don't forget about the offset, change that to zero. Good, you want to see invisibleness, Invi inv invisibleness, rotate it. So let's rotate it by 90, that should go that way. Let's rotate it by 270, oh, that's 180, 180, I think 180 is what we want to do. Let's hope that's right. Load, yes, okay. So now when you load it, and you hit it by 180, that means it pretty much rotates. I don't have my webcam on, but it rotates the thing right around, right? And you're gonna notice something. You'll be like, what the heck? Why are all the trap doors like this? Well, it's just a common mistake when you copy and duplicate items. Um, and you know what? It's okay, it's all good, but it's just a, it just requires you to go along and fix the trap doors. Now, I did realize I didn't finish placing all of the signs along the roof, so make sure, I hope you did that before you copied. If you didn't, I'm so sorry. Because now you're gonna have to do fences on two different trains. <laughs> but yeah, make sure you have the fences going along uh, the tops and the bottoms. So what I'm gonna do here is just grab the fences and make sure, even on the back too, right here, like make sure these have the fences over top of them. So it looks really good. So yeah, just make sure you have the fences going right along uh, the curves of these trains. Again, I'm not. I'm gonna do this after tutorial just to make sure I get it done. I don't wanna bore you guys of watching me place these signs. But uh, pretty much, that's how you use a structure block. We got two trains, looks really cool. Um, and again, when we extend our roads, uh, it will look 
It, it, look, it looked like this one's actually going somewhere. Because today, uh, we are going to be building our very first apartment building. And it's going to be a very simple design, but it's absolutely one of my all-time favorites, and it's super nice. So, let's get some of the materials we need. We're going to need to go ahead and grab ourselves a block of quartz and glass. Um, what else are we going to need? We're going to need to go ahead and go to the slabs, grab some quartz slabs. We need to go ahead and grab some quartz stairs. And that should be about it. Make sure you have your structure block with you as well. Oh, and you know what? Grab some, grab some uh, dark oak wood planks as well while you're at it. Ooh, wow, look at how modern this looks. Very cool, right? So pretty much, with this apartment building, it is a very simple design, but it's very beautiful once you're finished. So, let's get right into this. So, pretty much what we're going to want to do is, you can build this anywhere you want, but I'm going to go right where we started off our road. And you're going to need a little bit of space for this. So, what you're going to do is grab your block of quartz. You're going to go probably about, from like this uh, tree planter spot or wherever, just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 blocks in. So, for wherever you're starting from, make sure you have 14 blocks that way. 14 blocks this way, then you're gonna go back to and place the very first one right there. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, just like that. So we're gonna do a line of four quarts. One, two, three on this side. One, two, three on this side. One, two, one, two. So if you need to recap, we did four quarts, three quarts, two quarts. We did the same on both sides. I'm gonna go one, two, three. So we're gonna have three singular quarts going this way. We're gonna do the same thing over here. One, two, three. And that's pretty much the basic design. Now we're going to do the exact same thing. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, right? So we're pretty much making a circle. So we're, we're just following that design. So we did three. So then after that three, we're doing the two. We're doing the three again. Then we're doing one, two, three, a two, one, 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 right? Now to make sure one of your building circles to make sure your design is always lining up. It's always nice. To, so if you're say since I have four right here, but it's always nice just to go ahead just to make sure everything lines up. Go from one block. You can eye it out, or you can do this. And let me do my two right here, and it's even. So that's that's probably a good way to uh, just make sure everything's even. Just uh, it's it's a good thing to do whenever you're building circle uh, layouts, just because. If you mess up, it's kind of a pain to go back and retake out everything. So let's keep going. Three, then we can just keep following this. Four, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, right? And then we can just follow this right here. So this is one, two. Again, yeah, we can just eye it out. Does that lay up? Yep. One, two, three, boom. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two. Beautiful. Now we got ourselves a nice looking circle. Now you're probably just like, what is he going to do with this? What are we going to do with the circle? Well, pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to be building a circular skyscraper going right up with a beautiful slanted roof design. And then what we're going to do is to make this go by quicker, we're going to use the structure block. Very easy to use and I'll do step by step on how to do it. And once we get the first tower done, we're going to copy this tower and paste it right beside it. And it creates this like double tower, uh, very double circular tower design that's beautiful. So, I guess what you can do now is just grab your dark oak wood planks and just fill this in. Pretty much all you gotta do, right? It's really easy, it's really simple. Just grab your dark oak wood, fill in the grass right here, and then you're good to go for the next step. Now, while we're filling this in, let me just, uh, I guess you guys are probably interested in how the series is gonna go. Um, we're gonna try, I'm gonna try to do at least 10 episodes. Uh, you guys are already showing in a tremendous amount of support, so maybe I'll even do 20 episodes. But uh, I'm trying to release an episode every single day right now for you guys. So just keep those notifications on and subscribe. Uh, it helps out a ton. Leave a like, it helps get an algorithm. And if you have any questions or concerns, do not hesitate. Feel free to message me on Instagram or Twitter. Best way for me to get back to you is just Instagram or Twitter. All links are in the description and I can get back to you ASAP so if you have any questions or if you just want to say hi, you know, I'm all good with that too. Okay, so as we finish up laying out this wood right here, um, boom, 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 
we're gonna be going on to the next thing. And you're like, what are we doing now, NDV? Well, now we're gonna grab our gra glass, not grass. And we're just gonna go ahead and go right around. Like, wait, 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 whoa, 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 what is he doing? Trust me, it, it will look really good once you're done. I've done this design in, I've done this building in every single city I've built. It's a, it's a personal design that I've created, but I've done it in every single city I've created since I've been building Minecraft cities, and I would love to share this design with you guys um, so you know how to do this building as well, because it's truly a beautiful building. So then we're going to go ahead and do quartz, just like this, so quartz layer, boom, 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 boom. Now you're probably thinking like, oh my goodness, this is going to take me all day to do. Don't worry, with the structure block, this is only going to take us like five minutes to get this building up. And then you're gonna already have yourself a massive skyscraper in your city. And then you'll be like, yo, thank you, NDB. That's crazy. Okay, and then we're gonna do one last layer of glass, right? Before we copy and paste, you always wanna make sure that last layer is glass because we're gonna be copy and pasting the first layer is quartz. So whenever it goes on top of each other, we wanna make sure it matches. So make that, always make sure your last layer, because you start off with quartz, make sure your last layer before we copy and paste is glass like this. So let's just go right around. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. And now, since we're done this class, if you need to, pause the video here. All good. No rush. We're gonna go ahead and take our quartz block, or, or sorry, our structure block, and we're gonna go out one from this fourth wall. We're gonna go right back to here to the corner, right? So we have our green line and we have our box facing towards this circle. So now what we're gonna wanna do is you always wanna, so you wanna make sure the green line is so it's gonna absorb this right here. We're gonna wanna structure name this number two. You can do this any name you want, but I'm gonna put it as two because it's very simple. So for X, we're gonna be doing 28. We can probably go a little bit smaller, but 28, five, and we're gonna go up by 28 again. And let's see if that captures the full circle. It does look like it, perfect. So that's four right there, there we go. So perfect, we've captured the entire circle. We've captured all the glass, so you can see like the barrier on how it captures everything. If you follow this right, those are the exact measurements you need, right? So we have all of this captured in here. So now, what we're gonna wanna do is now that we've that captured into here, you wanna make sure the offset is zero. So we do not wanna be capturing the, uh, the grass. So make sure that is zero, right? I'm going to go ahead and click save. There we go. So now that we've gotten that saved, what you want to do is you want to crouch and place one, two, three, four quartz. So you just want to place the quartz right over top of that structure block, just so it's so it's over top. So see this line? You want to make sure your next structure block is right over top of that line. Then you can break this right here. Now what you can do is go ahead and go load. You can go ahead and click your structure name. And as you can see, you put in your structure name for whatever you did, uh, whatever you named your first layout. And as you can see here, this is what it's gonna uh, copy and paste into. So you can just go ahead and click load. Boom. So now, what you wanna do before you break the structure block, crouch in place right until it's up to this box, and then boom. There we go. So now we have ourselves this lovely looking apartment. And as you can see where this is going, we're gonna keep copy and pasting this until it's all the way up about 50 blocks tall. So, let's go ahead and just place our first structure block back. We're gonna go ahead and go structure name this too, so we're just gonna rename it. We're gonna go 28, right? We're gonna go by, let's just, I think this is about 20 blocks tall. Yep, not even, it's about 10 blocks tall. And we're gonna go ahead and go 28 again, just to double check, make sure we have everything in our box. So we have, oh, and it looks like we, I don't, do we have that last layer in here? Do we have that last layer? We have four on this side, we have four on this side, we have four on this side, beautiful. Okay, so now that we have 28 by 20, by 28, all we gotta do is go ahead and save this, right? And then we're gonna, we're gonna leave that, we're gonna leave that first structure block there so we can go back and just keep copy and pasting this. Now we're gonna go ahead and go load, structure name two, load, boom. And now, since if you didn't break that block, you're gonna have it right there again. 
So you can just go ahead and place that other structure block back. Go ahead and go load, structure name two, load it again, break that existing structure block, and boom, look at this. Look at this. We're, look at how fast we are building this building. So now, with your original structure block, you can go back. You don't need to change the X or the Z. You just go ahead and change your Y axis, turn this up to 30, and then boom, just click save, just like that, right? And it, it already has everything in it, so all you did was change your Y axis to 30, you just, it's still the same structure. So now when you're going up, we're gonna go ahead and place our structure block here, load, structure name, two, boom. Look at how much quicker that was. Now we probably don't need to uh, do this anymore because we already have a lot uh, being copy and pasted. We probably, you know what, I'm gonna, don't worry about it, I'm going to keep this here, but don't worry about it right now. We're not gonna worry about that uh, right now. So this is looking like a pretty good height already. So this is 38 blocks tall, right? So we're gonna go ahead and go back, structure name two, load, just like that. Now this is about, this doesn't seem right. Is this 37 blocks? Oh no, sorry. I'm looking at the wrong thing. It is 60, 60 blocks tall. I think, I think this is 60 blocks tall. I forgot Minecraft changed everything. So it's about 70 blocks tall now. Let's go to the very bottom of the street and look at this. Does that look tall enough? We're gonna go one more time because we're pretty cool. We're gonna go one more time. I mean, now, which is the best thing about this is that you can make this as tall as you want. It just might be a little bit trickier. I would just recommend hitting that 70 mark and stop there. Just don't make sure, just make sure it doesn't pass 100. Boom. And now that you copied your final layer, look at that. Look at, look at, you have your floors in, right? So you just can go decorate the apartment as you like. You have this awesome looking building. Like, look at that, isn't that amazing? So now what you can do is you can go ahead and fly to the top of your beautiful skyscraper. Woo, it's going to the top. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our block of quartz and do the final layer. So we're just gonna go ahead and do, uh, make it go across so the first three. We're gonna keep, we're just gonna go right across like this for the first three. Boom. For the fourth, we're gonna go right across, right? For the fifth, we're gonna go right across. For the sixth, we're gonna go right across. And on the seventh, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. On the seventh, we're gonna go right across, right? And you're like, how's that different? But now we're gonna place some quartz stairs over top of them. And with those quartz stairs, we're gonna go ahead and just do our quartz slabs going right in front of them like this. Boom, 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 boom. So now what you're gonna do is just go up by two for the next one, two, three, four, five, six layers. We wanna go up by two like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that, just for an example, it should end on the second one on the fourth, just like that. And we fill this in like this. Boom, boom, and boom. Those, those, those booms were very untimed, by the way. But see, look at how fast it was to set up a skyscraper in your city. Like, isn't that awesome? And it, does, it, do, it doesn't look bad either. It looks actually beautiful. And that's why I love this design, because I made, I made this design and I was like, holy cow. I can build this beautiful skyscraper in seconds, in absolute seconds, and it looks so darn good. Right, okay, there we go. Now what we're gonna do for the next one, two, three, four, five, six layers, we're gonna go ahead and do that as again. We're gonna fill this up right here. There we go. So each layer, each like every like six, seven blocks, we're like raising this up like we are creating that nice little slanted roof design and I think it looks absolutely fabulous. And while we're filling this in, I just would like to take the time to say if you do enjoy the channel, if you'd love to see me do more episodes like this almost daily, um, you can go ahead and become a channel member for as low as 99 cents a month. I never like promoting this, but if you'd like to support the channel for literally 99 cents a month, you can become a member and support me as a creator on YouTube. 
Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, we are just about done. And let's just go ahead and place this final layer after this. So one, so pretty much what you can just do is just go right le around like this, right? Right around. Just bring it up. Bring each wall up just like this. I think it's about four blocks high or four blocks tall. We're just gonna go right around like we are. Boom. I should really stop saying boom. I say it way too much. You guys in the comments are gonna be like, why do you say boom so much, man? We're just trying to build this skyscraper. There we go. Okay, and now what we can do is just go ahead and do the same thing we did before and just fill in this little, 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 little spot with quartz. There we go. And if you want, uh, you can fill up these apartments with uh, lights, furniture. You can decorate them however you want. And on the second last one, we're just going to go ahead and do some quartz right here. And behind it, we're going to raise this up by one. And then you can just take your quartz slabs and go like this in the third, right in front of it. And there you go. Slanted roof! Super cool, right? It doesn't look very slanted from like right here. And like, I didn't really think that part through, so it doesn't look very slanted from right <laughs> from right here. But if you're in an aeroplane, why did I say an aeroplane? If you're in an airplane and you fly by it, you're gonna see the slanted roof. Now you can make this as slanted as you want as well. So if you'd like to make this like a massive slope so you can see it right from the bottom, you can do that too. But just for the tutorial purposes, that's what we're gonna do. Now for the final step of this building, we're gonna wanna go back to the original structure block we had, and we're gonna name it structure name two. We're gonna go X by 28. We're gonna go Z by 28. You don't need to change the offset. The offset is fine. And Y, we're gonna wanna go ahead and type 99. There we go. Oh. We're gonna wanna type, can we go any higher than 99? Can we go 100? Can we go 105? We wanna type 105 for the height and look at that you have a you have a skyscraper in the structure block look at how cool that looks just like as you can like move your build around in this it looks awesome so now what we're gonna want to do save that build and remember we're gonna want to place it the same way so this structure block is pretty much facing this way and this way so what we're gonna want to do is let's just take dark oak planks and go one two three four Four out, so five, no, let's go five blocks out from it. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blocks in this way, and then one, two, three, four blocks this way. And then on the fourth, we're gonna place our structure block. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, we're gonna wanna go 28 blocks in this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and on the 28th, place our structure block, load, structure name two. Okay, now let's look where this is placing. This is gonna be placed, I'm gonna break the original one. This is gonna place, be, it shows you where it's gonna be placed, right? It's gonna be placed in the square right here. And I wanted it, so it's not right beside it, but it's a back a little bit, so we can put some trees in. We're just gonna go ahead and click load, Break our structure block, let's not look at it yet. And there we have it. We have our two skyscrapers, and look at that. In the time span of 20 minutes, we have uh, we already have two skyscrapers for our realistic city. Is that not the coolest thing ever? And I actually, why does this one look a little bit smaller than this one? I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what I messed up on here, but this one looks like it's one block lower, or maybe they're the same height. It almost looks one block lower, but hey, that's cool. And if you want to, you can change up the height so one is a little bit taller. But pretty much, that's how you build like a double skyscraper. And let's get started on this city today. So what do we got planned? Well, we have we have our skyscrapers, right? We have our streetcars, we have our road, and we have a tree, right? And that's about it so far, but uh, we're gonna need to go ahead and get some layouts and a little bit, like get ourselves a little bit more organized today. So pretty much I'm going to show you guys how to build uh, an intersection. We're going to be going ahead and I'll show you guys a cool design to do for the bottom of these skyscrapers with the stone. And uh, yeah guys, I guess let's just get right into this. So you're going to need to go ahead and grab some stone uh, bricks, 
crack stone bricks, stone buttons, and go ahead and grab yourself. Wait, stone brick stairs? No, is are we? Can we not get the stone brick stairs? Okay, we'll have to go into here and get the stone brick stairs. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and just start extending out our sidewalk right over here. And we're gonna wanna extend it by probably about 20 blocks. Yeah, about 20 blocks, we're gonna wanna extend this road out to here. And let's just go ahead and make this turn. So we're gonna go ahead and just do a little right hand turn going straight back this way, just like this. And you can go as far as you want. We're gonna go, I don't know, I think it's about like 50 blocks. We'll go about 50 blocks out that way. That's not a, an exact number, that's just me estimating with my head, so I'm pretty much guesstimating. We're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. We're gonna take our stone bricks, go out. We're gonna wanna make sure this is lined up with this, so that's lined up right there. And we'll go out about 50 blocks this way. There we go. That's probably, uh, is that 50 blocks? Probably. All right. So now we got those two things laid out. What we're gonna wanna do is on this side, we're gonna wanna go ahead and take this out as well about, I would say about 20 blocks, something like that, about 15, 20 blocks. And we're gonna wanna go ahead and go out this way. Actually, you know what? No, don't worry about that. Just bring it out by 20 blocks. And we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. Let's just bring this out by 20 blocks as well. There we go. Is this, is this lined up? Let's just make sure it's lined up. Always make sure everything's even. There we go. Perfect. Now, as you can see, this it's a little bit more laid out. And that's gonna it's pretty much going to show you where we're going to build our roads. But uh, right here in the corners, we're going to go ahead and do our little 5x5 five five planter box trick. So right in these corners is usually where... Actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and, before we do the planter boxes, go ahead and go in the fourth and last block and bring it out here. And go on right here on the fourth again leave a two gap space like we did here two gap two gap bring it out this way there we go and that's gonna be our sidewalk and then right here in the corner we can go ahead and do our planter box so one two three four five one as three four five and then just fill this in and we'll do the same thing for the middle so just fill this in right here there we go, and just take our stone bricks and go right around that. Perfect. And as you can see, it's just gonna be those same trees we did over there. All right, let's do the exact same thing on this side. So let's go ahead and grab our stone, bring it to the end over here, break two, leave it, make sure there's a two gap space, bring it this way, right to the end. And there we go. I'm gonna go ahead to our corner. Sorry if you hear some noise in the background. It's very windy today. We go one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Fill this in with grass. There we go. Take our stone bricks like we did here and make this go right around. Perfect. And look at how much better that looks. Now, with the road. Let's go ahead and get some of our road stuff. So, yellow concrete, bringing that out right to here and now see where this lines up you're gonna just take white concrete so just take your white concrete and you know what grab your stone Make, get your stone bring it here on the outline and you can actually just go ahead and go right around with your stone just like this just take this is the outside layer with your stone so just take that and go right outside and then you can just go ahead take your white concrete and do the exact same thing by following this there we go and we're gonna make a right Boom, and bring that around this way. Here we go. And if, if you're like, why haven't we filled in the sidewalks yet? Well, I'm just trying to get everything laid out first. Um, now, again, just take your stone. We'll just go ahead and keep doing the same thing. We're going to bring it out this way. There we go. Perfect. And that should just be the first layout we do here. So now, now what are we going to do here? We're going to go ahead and take our... So we, we can't, so the lines don't curve like that, right? So this is gonna be an intersection. So we're gonna go ahead and break the pieces, uh, the white quartz or white concrete right there. They go one, two, three. We're gonna go three in for now. And again, we will change that back. So it's, you know what, maybe we'll keep that. We might keep that or maybe we'll do, even do a turn, like a, little, like a little curve in this, just like that. That would look cool. And we can just do the same thing right here. We'll just go ahead, place one in place 
a piece of stone right there and do like a little curve. There we go. Uh, let's just go ahead and finish this off for each side though. So let's just go ahead and take our stone on this side and bring it around this way. You know what? I'm just gonna do this side of the road and then I'll just put that part in time lapse so you guys aren't seeing me go back and forth to make this a little bit quicker. Okay, well, I hope you liked, liked that little time lapse. And if you need to, don't forget, don't worry. Pause the video here. I'm not going anywhere. But uh, now we're gonna. I've been meaning to do something. Uh, I've been meaning to do this for a little while now. But grab your structure block. We're gonna go over to the tree, right? And we're just gonna go ahead and go structure name. We're gonna name this four. We're gonna go X about seven. I don't even think we need to go seven. We can just leave this as five. Uh, I think, yeah, it's just a 5x5 five five square, so you can just leave the 5x5 five five as default. For Y, you can go ahead and put 30, that should be the right height, yep. Awesome, and if your tree's customized a little bit taller, a little bit shorter, all good. Just do the proper things. Save, now let's go ahead and go over here, place your structure block down, go load, structure name, 4, boom. There we go, look how easy that is, right? Now we're gonna go ahead and go over to this tree, these two tree planters over here. We're gonna go place our structure block down, load, structure name, four, boom, tree. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Make sure you place it in the same block you did where you copied it from over there. Structure name, four, beautiful, awesome. Look at that, now we got trees. Like how good that looks. Trees can literally make so much of a difference in your city, so always make sure you add trees. They just look beautiful. Look at that. It barely took any time. It took us a minute to do that. Um, and if you'd like to, just around the trees, if you'd like to give it a little bit more detail, just you can go ahead and put your stone bricks going right around like this, creating like a second, like a little walking path around the tree. I think that looks kind of nice. So then if there's like a house behind there. Okay, so the tricky part. The very, very, very tricky part. Well, not very, very tricky. I'm gonna make it so it's not that bad. So one, so we're, from this white line right here, we're gonna go one, two, three, and we got one anvil, one stone, one anvil, one, two, three, orange line, one, two, three, anvil, stone, anvil, one, two, three, white line, uh, stone, and then we got our much McCollum. Our sidewalk's over here, and I believe, yeah, so the sidewalk goes like this. There we go, so we're just bringing the sidewalk down this way, and you can already see the new road taking uh, shape, which looks good. Um, so let's just go ahead and get this laid a little bit better. So take your stone on the end of this, just so we can like see the road, right, as we're building it, so we can see what's up, see what's going on, see how everything is looking. Um, we're gonna take this white line, we're gonna bring this right back as well. Don't worry about anything else. Um, the last the last thing we're gonna do in this little road right here is we're gonna grab the orange line or the yellow line. I don't know why I always call this orange. It's clearly yellow. We're gonna grab the yellow line and bring it back as well. I always just like to do all the line work first because it sets as like a good uh, example of what we're gonna be doing. It gives, uh, just it's easier to follow. So now, it's a little bit trickier because we're not dealing with like passing lines. We're dealing with um, the train tracks in the road. So what you can do is just take your anvils. I'm actually just gonna turn down the game volume a little bit while, while we're doing this. Um, I'm just, we're gonna place our anvils and just have them going straight across. So just have them going straight across this intersection. So we're gonna do, we're gonna focus on this side of the road first. I'm not gonna put this, uh, this intersection at all in time lapse. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see how it's done and all the steps I'm taking to do so because it's a little bit tricky. Okay, so now that we've gotten that done, the train can't just so we couldn't we can't just leave the stone because the train can't just drive 
and turn off. It has to turn and match the lanes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our anvils from right here. We're just gonna have them go back a little bit, just like this so we can see what's going on as always. Uh, let's just place our stone around these ones right here, just so we can see, you know, what's up. Um, okay, so now that we've gotten those here, we're just gonna go ahead and place our anvil is going right across this because remember, um, the train has to get across the road because this train, yeah, if the train wants to go to this side, it can turn right or left. Probably these are one-way roads, so to turn right, these are one-way roads, so you'll either go on this side or this side, but the train will turn right, for example, on this side, and on this side of the road, the train is going to turn left or go straight across over here. So we're not, we have to make sure these anvils go across in the intersection. So on this side, we're gonna take our anvils, bring them out like we did over there. It's a bit tricky placing these, but uh, once you're done, it's done and it's... I would just, re like I said, recommend turning off your game volume while doing these because they're super loud and annoying. So let's just place these going along this way. There we go. Boom, take these ones going across just like that. There we go. Take this going out this way. There we go. Um, let's see here. We have our line. So let's just go one, two, three. One, one, two, three. Yellow line, does that match up right there? Always make sure everything's even. One, two, three. Anvil. One, Anvil. One, two, three. White concrete, stone, sidewalk. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, so now we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. I know it's a bit it's a bit chaotic It's an annoying process, but once it's done, it's done and we can just copy and paste it next time So just bring these going across like this bring these ones back a little bit There we go fill this in right here If you want to you can just fill this whole little area in there we go just like that and Let's see what else do we got going on here. Let's just make sure we get these two in over here. There we go. Okay. So it's, it's already looking kind of crazy, but uh, it's okay. Whenever it's all done, everything's in. It'll look a lot better. It looks really, it still looks really cool. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, this looks awesome. But let's just attach these. There we go. We know it's even because the anvils attach. If they're not, if the anvils don't attack, attach, no good. Look back where you made a mistake. And if it's uneven, I think it's going to be even though. I think you guys are all good. So white lines are even. I just bring this right back over here. Oh wow, this is a lot longer than I thought it was. Bring this, oh wow, okay. About another five blocks. Try to ever get everything even. There we go. Uh, let's just take our stone on this side, bring it back. B-E-U-T full. And then take our stone bricks. A lot of stone, right? We're dealing, we're dealing with a lot of stone here. Okay, and then bring these across this way. Boom. Okay, nice. And these sidewalks are even as well. That's good. I, I, was, I was really worried about that. Um, okay, so now you can just take your stone on this side, bring it over this way. You can take your white line on this side, bring it this way. Do I want these to connect like that? No, we're gonna, we're gonna bring it in like we did over there. So let's just... Break those, stone, stone, stone. Is that what I did over there? It is, that looks really good too, I like that. Okay, now we can just go ahead and start filling in this intersection with stone, because we have all of our lines in, we have all of our anvils in. Yeah, okay, so now what you just want to do pretty much is like I said, we just want to fill this in with stone and we're gonna get all the little details in after that. Now that we've gotten the intersection filled in, we're going to be doing a few more small details in the city. So now what we need is a loom and you're going to need to get light green dye or lime dye, red dye, 
banner powder or banner banner pattern uh board gear indented black dye and yellow dye so now what you're gonna need to do oh i forgot to get the banner silly me is get yourself a light gray banner over here now you're gonna want to put your light gray banner in there put your red dye in and take this upwards facing down triangle pattern now put your lime dye in and do this downwards pattern just like this now put your yellow dye in this is actually yellow and do this circle in the middle middle pattern there we go and now take black dye like this in a batter your banner pattern place it all around and there you go, you have your traffic lights. Uh, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and put these away and you're gonna need to get yourself an anvil. You're gonna need to get yourself some nether brick fences and you're gonna need to get yourself some yellow concrete. You're gonna wanna put it on this stone brick right here. You wanna put your nether brick fences over top and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, yeah, but 11 blocks up, then one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So 11 by 11, pretty much. And then right over top of these tra tracks, you're gonna go ahead and put two yellow pieces of concrete down on each ends, uh, and you should have a three space left over after you've done that. Then just put your traffic lights over top of these banners, or this concrete, just like this. And there you have it, you have some traffic lights. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do traffic lights. And those don't look too bad, do they? They look pretty good. Um, and that's pretty much what we got done for the intersection. For these side roads, uh, I've, already got, I've already shown you guys how to build these roads in the tutorial. So just, again, it's super easy. Just keep following up that same design we did out that way. And uh, that's pretty much all you gotta do. And that's, I think that's gonna be a wrap for this today's tutorial because we did get a, that, this took a lot longer than expected to do this intersection. And, everything we discussed today but in next episode i'm just gonna go ahead and do these roads off camera and just get these two filled in because again it's really self-explanatory all you gotta do is bring the anvils and the stone over and it's done next episode we're just gonna get this all decorated and we're gonna do some a new building which is gonna be super fun we're gonna be going building in this top right a section up here and we're gonna do be doing a corner store so pretty much if you would like to just have a good chunk of this area all laid out or you can build this corner store in any corner technically but just make sure you have like a little area laid out and ready to go and uh yeah we're gonna be having some fun doing this today i'm quite excited and if you guys are enjoying the series keep on showing the love keep leaving the like subscribing comment down below if you're enjoying and uh pretty much guys let's just uh let's do this so blocks we're gonna need today so the blocks we will be needing today is uh, here we go, where is it? The stones. We're gonna need chiseled stone bricks. We're gonna need to get ourselves some, let's just go in the quartz. We're gonna need to get ourselves some smooth quartz blocks. We're gonna need to go down to the concrete and get ourselves, mm, do we want concrete or maybe do we want wool? We'll see. We'll use yellow concrete for now. And we need some banners. So just get a few banners. Where do we find banners? Get a few different types of banners, Any, anything really. I would say just maybe like a blue banner, and uh, that's about it, yeah. And then what else do we need? We're gonna need to go and get some glass, so we're gonna need some gray stained glass as well. And that should be pretty much the basics we need for right now. So let's get started. Okay, so, pretty much, it's a corner store, so we gotta make the front of it a little bit cornerish. So let's just go right in your corner you're gonna to want to make sure you get your stone bricks and just place two blocks like this and then you want to go one two three four five six and place so you have like five blocks right here then go one two three four five so five spaces in the middle one two three four five make sure you have another fifth space and 
that should be big enough. We'll go one more. So three, four, five. Okay, so then we need one, two, three. Total of three spaces right there and four pillars. Okay, now bring each of these pillars up by one. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure all these are up by seven. There we go. Now what we're gonna wanna do is over here, we're gonna wanna do the exact same thing. So we're gonna wanna leave five spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, and go up by seven, just like that. And we're gonna wanna do the exact same thing on this side. So go ahead, count out five, that's three, four, five, just like that, three, four, five, there we go. And how much did we do? We did four pillars, so we need one more, three, four, five, there we go. And bring all of these up by seven. So now that we've gotten that done and out by seven, what you can do now is we're gonna actually go ahead and grab some wool. So we're gonna get some white wool, we're gonna get some yellow wool. And we're gonna take this white wool and we're gonna pretty much just go right on top of these quartz. We're just gonna bring it just like this, right to there. Well, we're gonna leave one space going out like that. We're gonna do the same thing over here. So just bring it over like this, leave one space. You can even do, yeah, one space. And then pretty much what you're gonna do is just go one in, two in, one in, two in, there we go, and three in just like that. Perfect, look how cool that looks. And then for the front door, what we're gonna do is, we could just leave it open like that, but we're not. So we're gonna go ahead and just place one, two. You know what, we'll worry about the front door later. I think I have a, or you know what, yeah, place on the, this block going out here, place, your quartz right here, so just go. If you, that doesn't, if you don't understand that, just place that one there. But if you don't, just go back one on this and out by two. Back one out by two, just like that. Oh, that didn't line up, did it? Uh, just go, yeah, on this one, <laughs> just on this one right here. There we go. And then ooh, I cannot place it again. Okay, there we go. And there we have our little door. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then on these white wall blocks, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go out by one and up by three, just like that. Or you know what? We'll go up by two for now. Maybe maybe we'll change it in the future. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go up by two. So go up by one and then on the remaining, we're just going to go out like that and bring it out by one over here and do the exact same thing over here. So just go out by one, up by one, just like that. There we go. And you can do the same thing in the front. So just go out like this. There we go. So now with your yellow wool, you can just go ahead and do like a checkered pattern. So just go like this every few blocks, making yourself a cool, cool, cool checkered pattern for the front of your store. I always love these things with like wool and all of those types of blocks. They just really bring everything to life. Honestly, I love it. So let's just go ahead and go like this over here. There we go. We'll continue that checker design right here. So now we got it checkered. And now what we're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go back into your inventory, grab some smooth stone slabs, and just go ahead and go right over top of them. Uh, do we want to go in? We may go in one. Let's go in one like this. And bring your smooth stones. Is that what it's called? Smooth stone slabs? Yeah, bring those right around this way. Like we are here. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to want to take our smooth quartz blocks. We're just going to want to go right around the bottom, just like this. There we go. And do the same thing right here. So just one, this one. Maybe we'll go in one. We'll go in one, in one, one, two, three. And we'll just bring these over here, just like this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to want to take some glass and just go one, two, three. Not over top of the, these ones, but the inner layer. Just go up by three like that. Uh, you can take your stone bricks and just fill in the front of the store right here. Here we go. 
and you can just remove these three right here and put stone bricks. Awesome. Very cool, very cool. And if you want to just fill in this front uh, of the every, just fill this front in like I am uh, now, just continue doing that. Here we go. So bring this up by two and fill this all in. There we go. So that's like the front of our store so far. Now for the sides, what you can do is just for these two right here, you can just bring your quartz block right up. I don't think it's too necessary to have those right there. There we go. Now for these windows, just go in by one and take your gray stained glass, go across like this and just make it one layer in like I am here. There we go. That looks awesome. Very cool. Very cool. And if you want to, you can just go ahead and go back to your uh, building menu, go get some walls, get some diorite walls, and just we'll have to place some more stone this way. But just you can create like little pillars right out the front, like I did here. Just you know, like a bicycle bicycle parking or anything like that. That's how these these pillars can act, and they look pretty cool. So I do them for just that window in the front and then this window right here it'll just be for extra detail so let's just go ahead and place uh, just do like a whole layer right here let's do our glass there we go our sweet 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 glass looks amazing bring this across this way we're gonna bring this glass up here looks awesome and now on the outside again just take these stone walls go across this one though right here just like that and there we go it looks pretty nice right um, yeah awesome alrighty now time for another little detail just on the back of this over here uh, where this pillar goes up just go ahead and go in one grab some smooth stone and go one two three four out just like that take your white yellow wall go yellow white white, yellow, white, yellow, just like that. Then I get dark blue banners or just blue banners and bring them across like that. Then right here, you can just do like a little, place one down like that so it kind of curves. Bring one out. Do we need the one out? I don't think it's necessary. And there you go, you have like a little, it's just like a little sign, like a little market thing on the side. Uh, even if you want to spruce it up a little bit, you can grab a painting if you want to. And let's just see how that looks. Uh, so yeah, you can always do these, these tricks with paintings. Yeah, you can do like a little painting just to make this look like a billboard on the outside. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? So yeah, if you want to do that or banners, whatever you like, uh, I'm going to do the like paintings. I think those look amazing. We'll just do little paintings on the outside there and I think those look fabulous. And uh, now what we want to do is we're going to do like a little custom tree. So grab some grass. We're just going to plant it probably right... Where do you want to get that? Maybe like right here in the middle because we left that little spot there. Do like a little custom tree. How much do we have to road? This is like the last bit. So yeah, we'll bring it in just like that. Or you know what? Just go out and do, do a two by three square. And now what we want is to grab some fences, some beautiful, beautiful fences. We want to grab some, uh, I go azalea leaves. Azalea leaves are my favorite. You can do whatever you like. And I would just bring, go on this middle one, go up by two. Go up, actually go up by four. Then go on the fourth one, go up by one. And then just bring it up just like this. There we go. And on the very last one, so I brought that up by one, two, three, four, five blocks. And on the sixth, we're just going to go up like this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then we're just going to go up like that. We're gonna go up and like that. We can actually go make these a little bit taller. There we go. Uh, we can just do a little bit going down like this. Perfect. Uh, on this one right here, let's bring that up. Perfect. Looks good and looks and good. Uh, over here, we'll just kind of fill that in so nobody can really see the back of this. We'll just do a couple right there, a couple right there, 
there we go, we got a little custom tree. It looks awesome. If you want to, you can make it a little bit more bushy like that. There we go. It's going out by like, like this. Perfect, that looks really cool. Alrighty, now that we've gotten the tree pretty much done, we can just do a couple few little details, just add a couple of sticks, or not sticks, sorry. Fences around on it, there we go. We can do a few little last minute details, so just going around on the sidewalk right here. We can just add some bushes like that. I'm just going around and make it look nice. We'll do the same thing on this side, so just go ahead and take your bushes, maybe just go right here. You want to leave that open space for the door and have it coming along. Not, not that far. I, I didn't anticipate that, okay? I thought the store ended a lot. I thought it was a lot bigger than that. Never mind. Then what you can do now is just go back to your fences, grab yourself, oh, no, no, sorry. Grab yourself some iron bars. Do a few iron bars. Just kind of mixed around like this. Going across from here. There we go. Just get a couple. Just like that. Perfect. Now, let's just go ahead and do the exact same thing we did over here. And I'm not sure if we're going to have enough time, but maybe we'll get the layout done today. Uh, but for the layout, pretty much, it's before... You know what? Let's do the back first. Um, for the back. So just start from this corner and pretty much what you want to do is just bring it out from the top and have both of these corners attached. So just go back and whenever they meet up, you can just go like this and have the pillar come right back down to here. Perfect. And then just take this and just bring it in like that. There we go. Bring this side in like, oop, oop, like this. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Um, now that we've gotten that done, I would probably do the floor in another episode, but pretty much what you want to do for the floor is just see where these two pillars were on the wall. We're just going to bring that out and that's going to be all stone. And then you can fill in the store ground with the block of your choice. Now, there's many different things you can choose because it's the inside of a store. I'm going to go for a darker color since we've used a lot of lighter colors so far. So I'm going to take dark oak wood, wood planks. And that's what we're gonna use for the floor. I don't know if I'll fill it in right now, but I'm just gonna go right around the entire base of it so you guys can see what the floor looks like and how we're going to do it. Okay, there we go. So that's what the floor color is gonna look like. Now, for the top of the build, what we're gonna do is in this corner, we're gonna just go up like this. Uh, there's no certain blocks, but we're gonna go up by four. One, two, three, four. We're gonna go up by one more, that makes it five. We're gonna go get ourselves some stairs, but not only, just blah, blah, blah. blah. We have some court stairs, and we're gonna bring them along the bottom. Yes, we're, we'll bring them along the bottom like this. We're gonna leave a one, two, how, how much of a space did we leave down here? Yeah, we'll just leave the five space as usual. There we go, so bring this up by four. Bring this actually no leave that keep it keep it at four and we'll just keep going like this so one two three four five boom sorry if that was confusing at all <laughs> my bad uh one two three four four oh four five there we go that's six no that's five okay so we'll bring that up and at the top let's just take our gray stained glass uh if you want to actually if you want to Grab some gray, light gray, no, no, just gray stained glass panes. Those will probably look a little bit nicer, honestly. I love working with these. Actually, that was probably the first time I've used the big ones for a long time. So we're just going to bring this glass out like this. And we're going to continue working on the apartment. We'll, we'll try to get the face of the apartment done today. That's what we'll do. We'll, we'll finish it up in the next episode. So we just want to bring this glass up by three. Just like this. Three on each side, there we go. And on the top, what you wanna do is just take your court stairs and bring them across just like this. That tree's in the way now. Probably should've done that last. <laughs> but uh, yeah, bring, the, bring your courts along like this. There we go. That looks pretty spiffy, doesn't it? Now, what you wanna do is just take your court stairs, 
and bring them right across like this. You want to go back to the slabs, go back to the slab again, grab your smooth, store, smooth court slabs and just bring them right across, out by one, from the stairs. I cannot place these for some reason. Oh my goodness. Creating like a little detail right here. There we go. That looks amazing. Amazing. And now what you want to do is you want to get some black concrete, or you know what, we'll get black wool. We're going to just stick with the design. And you want to get orange wool, just like this. And now, with this, oh, you're also going to need iron trap doors. Where do we find iron trap doors? We're also going to need iron trap doors. What you want to do now is take your black concrete, or is it wool? That is wool. Where these stairs are, pretty much, actually no. Can we, can we place them underneath? No, we can't. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. Um, what are we going to do here? Well, you know what we'll do is we're going to remove, sorry about that, we're going to remove this line of uh, quartz slabs right here. And we'll do our black wool going up like this. We'll have our, and we'll have our trap doors right underneath them. We're going to go right across with the black wool, right? And we'll have our trap doors right underneath, just like this. There we go. What if we break it over top? Oh no, okay. Then randomly place a few orange uh, place a few orange pieces of wool in there. And pretty much what we're gonna do is we're just acting as like this is a whole another billboard. Pretty much you just wanna make them random. Let's go up by two. Just like this. But yeah, we'll make it random just like a whole nother store, and then just place your iron trap doors right above them. Just like this. And then pretty much right behind it, you can just fill this wall in with uh, your quartz, just like this. We're using quartz, right? No, we're using smooth quartz. Sorry if I didn't make that clear. Oh no. Oh yeah, we are. Okay, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> there we go. And yeah, there's a whole another like little layer to the shop. And look how cool that looks. Does that not look cool? It's starting to kind of look cool. We're gonna do two more floors after that. But uh, that looks pretty awesome so far. It looks pretty swifty, right? And we're pretty much, we're going to finish off the top of the front of the building and we'll probably end off the IP. But we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Bring your quartz right over like this. Oh, you know what? We forgot. We're using stairs as well. That's okay. Uh, we're going to go up by four like we did. We'll place our stair like this. We'll go one, two, three, four, five. Do the same thing over here up by four there we go uh one two three go and then this should be three for correct we are amazing so let's just bring this glass going right across it's a bit tricky to place panes but at the end of the day they are way more f they're not fun they're, they're actually a lot more painful to use but they're, they're fun you know they're, they're not why do i keep saying fun glass panes aren't fun they're they're just cool looking here we go, and just go up by five. There we go, and we can just bring this up by the top like this. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We'll have our glass go up this way, our glass go up this way, and our glass go up this way. Perfect, 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 perfect. And then we just do our quart slabs, or just our normal quarts, up by three, right over top of that, just like this. And we'll have our, I'll show you guys what to do after that. But yeah, just make sure you get your quartz up like this. Oh, we have one more to do right here. Okay, Whew, I thought I messed up the design. Nope, we're good. So one, two, three, four, five, two, three. Let's just bring this across like this. This across like that. And this across like this. And then this across like this. Here we go. Awesome have these out by three and then we'll do the exact same thing we did over there so we will just place our black wool going right across do the exact same thing here and throw in a couple random orange spots just like this making some kind of billboard design totally up to you do whatever you like and just go at the bottom do your trap doors I hope we did that at the right level I think we did should be correct though, Monday. 
Yeah, that is correct. Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. Let's bring this over here, like this. Perfect. How's that looking? It's looking pretty sharp, guys. And we'll do the same thing over here. So, uh, what we'll do is we can take, we can actually take ourselves uh, a fence, right? We'll take ourselves one fence going out from here. Or maybe what we'll do is, yeah, we'll go from the bottom right here. Out from the bottom, like this. We'll go by three, actually. And what we'll do is just go one, let me just place black. So yeah, do black wall right here. Do two trap doors underneath it. And we'll just go up like this. And there we go. We have ourselves like this little thingy. Just like a little, like a little billboard, a little advertisement thing. I don't even need the bottom thing. The top is just enough. And what you can do is just take some paintings again. And with your paintings, just go do your thing. Okay, maybe we'll do maybe we'll do this one first. There we go. <laughs> yeah, just do your thing with the paintings. Here we go. We have a nice little billboard. That looks so cool. I love that. Does that not look awesome? I think it looks pretty awesome. Okay. Uh, now with the middle here, let's just do the same thing. And we're gonna take. Uh, here we go. We want to take our glass. So let's just get normal glass. We'll use. We'll get our quartz. So we'll go up by one right here. Up by one on this side, and then we'll go uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, you know what? Yeah, that looks good. Go up by three, just like this. Perfect. Let's go up by two, and then just take your trap doors and go right around like this, which looks awesome. And then you can just crouch, place your black wool right over top of this, creating that nice little billboard coming along this way and then just place a few orange ones in here just like I'm doing and then just do your trapdoors right over top and then your quartz in the back going along like this and the back of the building should be a little bit more simple guys don't worry it's not gonna all be like this but as you can kind of see how this is going it looks really cool from the inside it looks really actually this looks awesome I was kind of taking like a random like guess on how we were gonna do this, but I think this is looking really cool. All right, wow, this is uh, this is starting to take a lot of shape. It's looking really good. We could just leave it off here, but we're gonna go one more layer up because I think that would look good. I don't think I think it's going to look good. So what we're gonna do is just from just keep on the same pillar, right? Keep on the same base pillar, and we're just gonna go up by one, two. Do I want to do it right here? Or do we want to go in one more? Yeah. We're gonna go do the same thing. So one, two, three, four. And we're gonna go grab ourselves our uh, quartz stairs like that and our glass stain pane. We're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And we're just gonna bring each of these up just like this. It doesn't have to be, just, just bring them up. Get your glass in. And that looks nice. We're gonna do one more little sign layer over top, but we'll save that for the next episode. Maybe I'll just do it now to get it over with. Because in the next episode, I do want to build a park with you guys. All right, so let's just start right here. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And bring this up. Bring this up right here. Bring this up. Bring this one up as well. There we go. Then we're just gonna go one, two, three. Yep, we did that correct measurements. So there should always be three glass going up and then have on the fourth, the quartz pillars. In the middle, we're gonna bring these two up on these sides. We're gonna do the same thing we did from before. We're gonna take our gray stained glass, and go one, two, three, do our smooth quartz. And right here, we're gonna do our iron trap doors going across just like that. We can get these, we're gonna actually, we'll wait. No, you know what? We can get the iron trap doors just going right along 
the whole top of the build just like this do the exact same thing on this side so bring it across there we go perfect that looks beautiful that actually looks really good we might be able to just leave it off there and now what you can do is just make sure you get that glass in on this side yeah i know it's like oh my gosh There we go. And now what you can do if you want to is you can take some leaves. You can make little planters and just do like one, two, one, two. Only if you like this. If you don't want to do the leaves, if you think it ruins your build, all good, I understand. And you just do like little... Or no, you don't even have to do those. You can just do like little planter boxes. So just put uh, the iron trap doors underneath them. Just like that. If you want to, if you think they make your build look a little bit better, if you think they shine a little bit of extra little noiseness onto your build, I don't even know if that's a word or not, but we're using it. Looks cool. There we go. Man. Ah, oh, man. All right, two, three, four. There we go. Looking good. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much, look how good that looks though. That's pretty much a shop design uh, for the back. Do it, I don't know if you guys want me to do the back for the tutorial, but pretty much for the back, it's, pr it's pretty simple, right? We're just, you're just taking this, you're just taking your quartz, you're bringing it backwards like this, right? And if you want to, you can just make these walls plain. Literally as easy as that, you can make these walls plain if you want to, just like fill them right in and nobody has to know because what we're going to be doing is right beside these buildings we're going to be building more buildings in the future so technically we don't need any detail right here because we're going to have more buildings going along the side so nobody's ever going to see the back of it but if you do want to put detail i would just recommend doing the exact same thing you did in the front of it but for this tutorial's purpose we're going to leave the black uh, the back two walls blank just like this so yeah you, you guys probably get the gif uh, I'm just gonna fill these in like that and yeah pretty much all you really need is this front little area designed and I think that looks so good guys we have our nice we have our two gigantic apartment buildings now we got our nice little store complex we're gonna we're gonna do some condos in the next episode we'll probably do a park as well but uh, yeah guys, if you enjoyed this, once again, please do smash that like button. How do I make my guy? Uh, here we go. Make sure you do smash that like button and subscribe guys. Seriously, help us out. Leave a like, subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel for as low as 99 cents a month, you can help me uh, by becoming a member. Never feel obligated, but if you do that, it helps us get this full time and uh, more Minecraft videos. But yeah guys, peace out.